Ladies and gentlemen, this is a video I never thought I'd have to make. I don't even know how to put it in the words. The Mario Superstar Baseball meta has been shattered. It has been completely busted open with the discovery of some new tech. If you don't know about this new tech, go check out a video shared on Dinger City by a uh, Discord member and patron of Dinger City, Vickless Falcon. He found something that's gonna change the game as a whole. And it's so major of a discovery that I cannot sit back and let my season eight tier list go in as submitted. So this is a quick update video. As you can see, we have my season eight tier list in front of us, not changed. I'm gonna tell you about what was found, then we're gonna make the appropriate changes. Go check out that video for a better explanation. But basically, it was discovered that any star hitter with a pop fly star hit when switched to righty and jammed will basically hit a perfect lobby bobby right into right just behind the infield, shy of the outfield. And we've tested it. Me, Mr. Joe, Dennis and City Hall. We sat down for hours, basically what we've been doing for the last two days. Pardon me if uh, I, I know I missed some uploads, but it's been crazy. And a team of all Yoshis couldn't even make some of these plays that these star hits got. Now, it's the red variants that usually have these pop-ups outside of a few. The characters that have this unique new ability are technically Petey, KB, Hammer Bro, Red Pianta, Red Dry Bones, Red Noki, Red and Black Shy Guy, Red Koopa, and Red and Purple Toad. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, Petey, KB, Bro, not really, I don't think it's super worth going for it with. The person it's most worth for though is bro because you're probably already gonna have a hammer bro on your team you could have boomer but you could have hammer the only thing is now you have to, you'd have to go back to having hammer righty so kind of it depends on if that lefty hammer versus righty hammer is worth the switch and that's the issue for a lot of these characters for instance obviously pd it's not worth you leave pd lefty KB's already righty and has a really unique star hit that the curve is weird, so we're gonna kinda count him out of this too. He's still great though, he's fourth best in the game, but he's not really part of this tech. Righty hammer, bro, I don't think it's worth switching. Pianta is the weird one. Pianta is the easiest person to achieve this star hit with, but lefty Pianta is significantly better than righty Pianta. Also, this only applies to red Pianta. So that is the tricky conundrum that I am finding myself in. I did it. I went into the lab. It's pretty easy to do with Pianta, but it also makes it harder to hit home runs with Pianta. So we'll talk about him in a minute, but I'm just going to run through every character real quick that has this. Bones, red bones can kind of do it. Um, It's a little tricky. He's in the tricky camp. Um not the trickiest camp there's like three tiers in that video and um you know red bones can do it but i still think with bones green bones is the way you'd want to go i do not think the trickiness of the red bones new star hit outweighs the green one noki this is the one that's causing this is one of the two that are causing the big conversations and conundrums across you may have checked out mr joe's tier list update video because he also felt that it was crucial and needed to be done red noki when righty has this star hit it is trickier to hit than the likes of pianta and red shy guy which we'll talk about in a little bit but it's it's this is the big thing is is it better than the, the these line drive star hits we've been basing our game around that para Bones, Noki, and Madge all have. Because the line drive star hit, when it gets through, is awesome. Could be a double sometimes. But it also has a chance of being a double play if hit wrong. This new one is harder to hit, especially with dry bones and red, red dry bones and red Noki, but when hit will land fair. 
So it's tricky to decide what's the best route here. But the big ones we have to talk about are the three characters down here that have it because these three characters, Shy Guy, Koopa, and Toad, basically were worthless before this tech came out. I mean, like, Shy Guy's got a pretty good slap hit, and these two do nothing. But now, with this tech, Shy Guy is the one that benefits the best from it. I think everyone agrees. Doesn't mean he's the best in the tier list that has the ability, but Shy Guy Righty has now this beautiful star hit that always lands, but his sweet spot for Shy Guy to land a good slap hit is the outside of the bat. So it makes the pitcher struggle because if you throw an inside pitch, you get the perfect star hit. You throw an outside pitch, they could get a good slap hit. And the middle is because Shy Guy is one of the better characters to do it with, also lands. Pianta and Red Shy Guy are the Red Pianta and Red Shy Guy are the only two that like the middle of the bat will still be a clean star hit unless you're dealing with maybe like a Yoshi, but like most fielders won't be able to get that. So Shy Guy becomes someone that's nearly Im not impossible to pitch to, but it, you're relying on human error to pitch the Shy Guy. Everything, anything over the plate can now be put in play. Koopa and Toad. Koopa is about as difficult as Bones and Noki is to pull off, and Toad and Purple Toad are harder. Uh, Black Shy Guy is also in like that red Noki, red Shy, uh, red Bones range. Toad is the weird one. Toad doesn't do it too well. So I don't think Toad's going to move up too much, but he will move up a little bit. So now we have to look at this tier list and figure out how are we doing this? Who are we moving and where? I think starting lower is smart because I think I can tell you one thing. Unquestionably, now you got to at least do this. Because star hits, they're, they're, they're useful. Are either of these characters going to go up higher? I don't think so, but you know, that's some, that's some mileage for them. They moved up a little bit. Shy guy is the one that's brought into the realm of actual good star hitters. Mr. Joe believes that shy guys, red shy guys, new star hit makes him better than bones and para. That is something that I'm struggling with accepting. It's really good. Like really, really good, but I don't know if it's enough to dethrone some of our heavy hitters. What I can tell you with certainty is that all of the star hitters value does now go down a little bit because technically speaking, there are now one, two, three, four, five, six good one star hitters that aren't captains. I mean, and the also imagine toads were we're not talking about them though. So now it's not much of a race to get three because now you've got twice as many options. Obviously, Koopa and Toad suck. Um, the one, the thing is, these three guys, uh, well, Koopa's got good fielding and Noki's got good fielding. Drybones has okay fielding, but so does Shy Guy. And Shy Guy has a better slap hit. So I think Shy Guy has to go at least above Bones, but I don't think Bones is here above Luigi anymore. I know it's very confusing. I think the one, I think Noki gets a big bump because Noki is good no matter what. Whether it's green Noki or it's red Noki, you got a good fielder, you got Pianta chemistry, which is good. Dry Bones' value goes down because he's not, he's about as good in the field as these other four. He's like in the same conversation as them. So I think what you gotta do is move Dry Bones at least down here. So that's step one. Then, Para, I think is still good, but again, is now less valuable. I think I'm gonna move Para. So I think... Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. Like, I'm, I'm, my mind's melting apart. I, I've been looking at my tier list all morning, figuring out how I was going to do this, and I'm still, I'm still figuring it out. I think Para's still really good. But I think Noki's better. So, what I think, no, I think Noki has to move into Bones' spot. And I think Para goes down here. And then we do a little bit of that, which is wild, but I think that's just how it is. Now, Luigi and Wario 
are they better than para and bones definitely better than bones para is tough but now here's the big move this is the big shy guy moment here i think you have to put shy guy at least here which means bj goes down here because he's better than bones bones is now the like i mean he's still better than koopa and toad but shy guy i think should now take precedent over bones they both have slide and catch shy guy's offense is better you, you play shy guy yes they're they still don't really have fielding positions shy guy is either you're you're putting them both either you're probably they're, they're gonna live in center field i'm imagining either like oh okay you can't do much with them so center field if you got Birdo, you can make Shy Guy first base at least, so that's a little bit better than Bones. You can also pitch with Shy Guy. That's a green Shy Guy thing. I've never pitched with red Shy Guy. Apologies that this is green Shy Guy, just the way this tier list is. Because we literally never thought Shy Guy would matter, so we used to make it the green one because he's our favorite. Not anymore. So I think you gotta at least put him there. Is he better than Para? I don't think so. I think this is what this new meta looks like i'm like i'm just gonna look through real quick i think this is appropriate um noki gets the biggest boost and becomes the best of the three star hitters but now that conversation becomes six star hitters but noki is the best because good fielding good bat no matter green or red is good you don't have to worry about like is this tech for sure good because the jury's still out on is it better to have green or red shy guy or is it better to have green or red bones but we know for certain that red shy guy is better than any version of shy guy was and just because of the genuine fielding things red shy guy is better than any version of bones but not any version of nokia i think that makes sense para loses a lot because he doesn't have this red switch option but he still offers a little more fielding than these two do wario might even go lower which i think is crazy but I, I don't think i'm gonna do that quite yet but i think this is how this new i think i'm comfortable locking in this being the meta change based on this discovery shy guy getting the huge boost noki getting a big boost and then para and bones kind of falling off bones might even i think joey has bones falling further which is you know to each their own pretty wild though um yeah but that's just how it is you know it's pretty crazy um there is one other change that i'm gonna make to my tier list while we're here because i've been doing my dinger city classic training as you've been seeing and i was in the heat of the moment last time i made the tier list and i love and i still love daisy but i i think this was a controversial decision that needs to be adjusted that's the only adjustment i make she's still incredible to me but i was i was a little bit of a fool to put her above mario She's great. I think she belongs in, in this row. Most people will probably be putting her at the top of this row, but I'm better with her than most people are. I've been using her bat for a long time. I'm pitching with her for a long time. Plus, her star hit is incredible on my field. So I love her, and that's where she will remain. But I had to acknowledge this little switch. Um, So yeah, this is the new Season 8 tier list. You got Baby Luigi at the bottom, then Paraguma, then Monty, then Goomba. All these are basically useless. Then you're going to do Toad and Koopa who are like, oh man, you probably still shouldn't pick them. But if you end up with them, they do have this weird star hit hidden within them. Then you got Toadette, Dixie, Peach, Waluigi, Baby Mario, BJ. These are like your, your bad ninth pick characters. Um, And now Bones is all the way down here. Shy Guy's all the way up here. Para's down here. And then Wario, Luigi, Noki getting the nice bump. Diddy getting a nice bump out of this whole thing just because, like, just by being a bystander. Because the all, all star hits have been, like, a little bit devalued because of the sheer number of them. And then the rest is, uh, we switched Daisy and Mario, and the rest is the same top 11. I didn't want to do, do more moving than this until there's been more practice. I spent all morning in the lab. I spent yesterday in the lab. Shot red shy guys is super consistent he deserves to be this high red nokis i don't think is that consistent but i still think she benefits the best from all of this solely because i think it makes her undisputedly the best star hitter because she's got the best fielding position and chem with a good character that allows her to be the one you're gonna go oh well i guess i'll take her out of the big bunch because she's the most useful in the field followed by para shy guy and bones but again these are all kind of right here next to each other 
Noki's got even the Luigi Wario bump. It's a little, she's got her own little spot. I do think there's a chance that after a few weeks of playing with this, I'm not going to update this tier list again, but I think the Season 9 tier list might see even more movement with some of these characters. So I would keep a close eye on Pianta, Noki, Shy Guy, Bones, Koopa, and Toad. If someone figures out like how to constantly do it and consistently do it with all of these characters, these two get a huge stock boost. Bones probably goes further down unless the red one gets unlocked, in which case who knows what happens. But it's been it's absolutely mind-blowing tech, and I urge you check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description. It's also on dingercity.com. Thanks for bearing with me with this crazy tier list update. I know it's not even Tuesday, but I needed to get it out there as fast as I could. Check out Mr. Joe's tier list update over on his channel. Check out Dinger City if you don't even know what I'm doing here. Dive into the Mario Superstar Baseball mythos. Whew, I can't believe this, man. It's a new it's a new era of Mario Superstar Baseball. The Shy Guy Revolution has begun. The forbidden tech has been unlocked. Who knows what's going to happen next? Stay tuned. Thinger City Classic coming next week, I believe. I'm excited. I'm going to throw up. Everything's wild. The world's falling apart. And I love watching it burn, baby. Whew. Wonder Bear HD out. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Bye.